Hey, good morning, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Wednesday, December 23rd, so we're only a day or two away from Christmas. So God bless every single one of you, especially whoever is going to be out there traveling. Be safe. May the Lord be with you and everybody with you. Now, I have some new information I want to show y'all. I'll show that we have uh, some a bigger tornado threat that we need to worry about, especially for today as well. And we have some uh, some different scenarios for this snowfall that I can show you. Uh, if you've never been here before, hit that subscribe button. I do upload every day, uh, even on Christmas morning. I will have a video that will be going out. Now, this right here, this is according to a year on. This is a snowfall that you're going to be getting before Christmas Eve and uh, Christmas Day. Now, that's all the way up to the day after. Now, you've seen that the heaviest part. It's up to 13 inches. The blue that you see, the gray is 1 to 2 inches. The blue is 3 to 5. The purple is 6 to 9. And the pink is anywhere from 11 to 15 inches. That's for both of these areas that's going along. Now, later on, we might have something that will be coming up with this snowstorm. Because I show a big, a big uh, storm is in the brewing for the making soon. So we got to worry about that coming up soon, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. But I do show, we do have some different things that I can show you with this snowfall uh, that could show some opportunity for those that are hoping to get snow uh, for Christmas. Now this is your Euro model every hourly and it shows uh, what your wind gust potential will be. We have a lot of potential for power outages, damages, as well as blizzards, you guys. So we got to be aware of this, not only just tornadoes. Now this is going every hour, and as you can see, the, the numbers of where you at, and this is on the 23rd, going into the morning of the 24th of Christmas Eve, this is where it starts getting different. Now right here where you see the 40 and 45 miles per hour wind gusts, uh, this actually, as long as you got snowfall, which you can see it's even heavier here, uh, as long as you got snowfall in 35 miles per hour wind gusts, uh, that is actually labeled as a blizzard criteria as long as you got at least one to two inches of snowfall coming down within so much time with the wind gusts. So this is in 12 hours when it'll be moving across and then this wind is going to move all the way south and then all the way to the northeast where it's going to get even worse. Now this is where we have our two low systems. We have the one low system that's in Canada and it is feeding the other low system that is moving across the country. And that's what's going to affect the Northeast. And that's when it gets a little different. This is Christmas Eve. And as we get into Christmas morning and Christmas Day, you can see it starts walling up real good for the Northeast. And this is where you have more chances for losing their power actually on Christmas, guys. So this is going to be a pretty big deal, as well as blizzard conditions for that as well. That's in the 50s right there. Now, if we look a little bit and see what the total is going to be on the, on the northeast, you can see how it changes from Christmas morning right there. And it starts building up in the 40s. Then it starts getting in the 50s, then the 60s. It gets some pretty high wind gusts uh, for these states, and it's all across the whole state. And if you look, there is a moment uh, late in, in Christmas Day that there is actually a chance for a 65 uh, miles per hour wind gust. And that is way up there in New Hampshire. So that is uh, an opportunity that we need to be aware of that could happen. Uh, let me show you what it does look like uh, as you run through and see what the possibilities are for the area. You can see there's a lot of opportunity for 60s and high 60s everywhere in the Northeast. And all this area has a chance for uh, severe flooding and some rain. I'll show you that as well. So y'all going to be getting a lot of the warm front that's coming up off the ocean while it's spinning around and pulling the cold air down and giving snowfall to the west side of the storm. So here's your chances for you wind gusts through this event. And you see a lot of the 40s, that's bad as well. And this is what you have for the southeast uh, through this wind event, through Christmas Day, of what the chances are the wind gusts going to be for this storm. Now as you go through the significant tornado perimeters, I do show that uh, we do have it for Louisiana as well, but you can see how it uh, uh, the vorticity values that uh, goes along with CAPE as well starts stretching out on later on today and starts going all the way to Arkansas. It's not just a problem uh, for Louisiana, but you can see the blue is where you have a really bad problem of potential tornadoes, guys. And you can see all the way in the north Louisiana as well. And it stretches all the way into lower Arkansas. And it goes all the way into Christmas Eve and then it winds down. 
So we really got to watch out for tornadoes this afternoon. That seems like that is going to be a pretty big issue uh, for this area. Uh, to check to see what's going on as well, uh, the storm is bringing in some pretty good surface hail, and we're talking up to an inch. Now, this is HRR. This is high-resolution radar. And this is the area of where they're going to be getting some hail from this distance, from the system as it moves in, because this is where the cold Arctic air is going to be coming down and just turning that into straight surface hail. Now, if you take a look at a, at a closer look, you can see that it is over an inch in some of these locations of where they're going to be feeling this. And this is Minnesota, North Dakota. I mean, this is some serious surface hail, so be aware of some power outages, guys. Now, as we go through what you have for the snowfall, uh, this is the motion that you have. This is according to the EPS members. And I want to show you the EPS members because they, they show you something a little special. Now, I'm showing in, in 6 to 12 hours, it's going to start doing some heavy snowfall. And then it's going to drop even heavier as it gets towards North Dakota and uh, Minnesota. This is where that significant hail storm is going to be uh, happening. Now, as you get towards Michigan, you see Michigan don't get much snow. Uh, but I am showing that because of the lake effect, there's going to be a big polyps of snow along the lakes, even on uh, western uh, Michigan. But I'll show that. Now, as you get into Christmas Eve and you go into the who getting the snowfall, who's getting uh, the rain, you can see where the line draws. This is the average now. Um, and as far as the heaviness, uh, I'll show you that in a minute, but you can see that the darker blues, of course, is the heavier snowfall. The, the pink is the freezing rain with a little bit of ice. But you see how far south it reaches. Now, if we check the possibilities, just to see what the possibilities is for Christmas Day for snowfall, we can check different members, which means other opportunities according to the atmosphere. And some of them show that there is a good chance for a really good southern uh, snowfall, which means that it, the temperatures do reach lower than expected. And if everyone you look at is exactly the same time of day, it's just showing a different possibility. Just like when I show you the, the 35 members during hurricane season, I can show you the 50 members during these storms. And most of them, you see they stop it, but some of them do bring it all the way down into Georgia, which shows this was some heavy snowfall for some of it. I even saw one earlier that stretched all the way uh, down to Mississippi, and I checked a little bit earlier. But no matter what I did as far as the storm goes and who gets the heaviest snowfall, where this is going to go, this warm air is going to be bringing up from the the east side is going to be bringing the cold air down from the west side. So that's why you get snow over here. And no matter which scenario I ran for the northeast, none of it showed a chance for the snow. It shows that's the best you got right there. But the, most of it shows it's just going to be a serious rain event for y'all. And some of y'all really uh, heavy rain. So we got to watch out for that. But these are the chances. And I tried finding some snow for you guys, but it looks like it's going to be a rain event for y'all. Now, this is what we have as far as the warnings, and if you look right here, you can see the Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi, as well as Alabama and uh, Florida Panhandle. This, this circle right here is a 2 out of 10 tornado warning. This is, this is a 2% chance. The 5% chance in Louisiana and, and lower Mississippi, that is a 3 out of 10 chance. However, I did show that the uh, vorticity possibilities could go all the way up to Ar towards Arkansas. So you got to be aware of that Arkansas. I would hate for you to get caught uh, without even knowing that there's a possible tornado event. Now this green that you see here, these green blocks, anywhere in Minnesota and here in uh, 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 Iowa, these are all for the blizzard warnings. This is uh, bring blizzard conditions, strong winds. I mean, we're talking some pretty fast winds all the way up to 50 miles an hour. Plus, you're expecting two to three inches of snow in that area. But we have even more conditions, like up here in North Dakota. They're expecting the winds up to 65 miles per hour, and some of these are 60 miles per hour. Uh, but these are all damaging winds. This is all going to be causing power outages. And some of them are going to be in and around 6 o'clock uh, this afternoon, and some is into tomorrow. So I'll highlight over your area so you can see when it's a wind event, this, this is by 9 o'clock this morning for y'all. Y'all going to be getting the beginning of the storm. And then as it goes across, you can see it goes all the way to 6 o'clock this afternoon. For a lot of people, this is going to be a fast-moving storm. 
And a lot of people are going to feel this. This is until 4 o'clock tomorrow morning, a wind advisory for Illinois till uh, 10 p.m. tonight. So this system is going to curve up really nice here. Then the second system is going to bring the snowfall event. Now we're on a winter storm watch for West Virginia, also for uh, eastern Kentucky. Two to five inches possible. West Virginia, three to six inches. Also up here uh, by northern Pennsylvania. Also nor northern, uh, excuse me, North northern Ohio. Uh, also western uh, New York. These are all going to be big amounts uh, that they're predicting. It could be from six to 12 inches for y'all as well. And this is because of the lake effect snow. This one is more than a foot is possible for here and here. And then here also is six to 12 inches uh, chance for snowfall. Be under a flood watch for Eastern Pennsylvania, also New York. Flood watches going all over the Northeast. This, this is gonna be high wind watch as well. So we're gonna need to watch out for this. Flash flood watch for Virginia as well. Some parts of Maryland, some parts of South Carolina, you got flood warnings. But this tornado event is going to be a pretty serious event, guys. Now, I do appreciate y'all watching. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up the next 60 hours. That way you can see exactly what's going to happen with the snowfall and the rain for what you're going to get for the next couple of days, guys. I'd like to bless every single one of you. If you are going to be traveling this holiday, please stay safe. Bless you all. Isaiah 9. Nevertheless, the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation. When at the first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebelin and at the land of Naphtali, and afterward did more previously afflict her by the way of the sea beyond Jordan and Galilee of the nations. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. Thou hast multiplied the nation and not increased the joy. They joy before thee according to the joy in harvest, and as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, as in the day of, of Midian. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The Lord sent a word into Jacob and it hath, and it hath lightened, lighted it upon Israel. And all the people shall know, even Ephraim and the inhabitants of Samaria, that it that they say in the pride and stoutness of heart. The bricks are fallen down, but we will build with hewn stones, and sycamores are cut down, but we will change them into cedars. Therefore the Lord shall set up the adversaries of resin against him, and join his enemies together, the Assyrians before and the Philistines behind, and they shall devour Israel with open mouth. For all this is his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. For the people turneth not unto him that smiteth them, neither do they seek the Lord of hosts. Therefore the Lord will cut off from Israel head and tail, branch and rush in one day. The ancient and honorable, he is the, he is the head and the prophet that teacheth lies. He is the tail. For the leaders of this people cause them to, to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. Therefore the Lord shall have no joy in their young men, neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows. For everyone is an hypocrite 
and an evildoer, and every mouth speaketh folly. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. For wickedness burneth as the fire, it shall devour the briars and thorns, and shall kindle in the thickets of the forest, and they shall mount up like the lifting of a smoke. Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts is a is the land darkened, and the people shall be as a fuel of the fire. No man shall spare his brother. And he shall snatch on the right hand, and be hungry. And he shall eat on the left hand, and they shall not be satisfied. They shall eat every man and flesh of his own arm. Manasseh, Ephraim, and Ephraim, and Manasseh. And they together shall be against Judah. For all this his anger is not turned away. But his hand is still stretched out still. Amen. God bless you guys. Hope you all have a safe travel. Whoever is, is traveling, hope you all have a great day today. We got to be aware of these storms. This is going to be a fast movers, but we got to watch out mostly for the power outages, guys. Make sure you're prepared. There will be power outages. All glory does go to God. Amen, guys. <laughs>